Hello and welcome back. In this tutorial, um, since it's getting closer to Halloween, I thought that I would do a, a couple tutorials uh, based around the the holiday, let's call it. And uh, and in this tutorial, I'm going to uh, to show you what I like to call uh, the ghost effect. And uh, and it's a it's a fairly simple tutorial, but it, it can uh, it can be really useful in uh, in making posters or um, you know. Uh, kind of a ghosted image. Uh, I'll, I'll just kind of show you what I mean. Uh, we'll go ahead and go through the tutorial. Um, the first thing that you want to do is pick out an image of a, a person, or you know, an animal would work as well, and uh, like maybe a wolf or something, and uh, and go ahead and open that up in Photoshop. I have a picture of this girl here. Um, the first thing that you want to do is uh, make a copy of this background layer, and you can do that by pressing Control J, and that'll make you a new layer. Let's go ahead and call that desaturate because that's what we're going to do to it. Okay. Okay, so now we have that layer. We call that desaturate, and uh, you can desaturate by pressing Control Shift U. And what it does is it just removes all the color from it. I believe if you go up to uh, your, uh, if you go up to image and adjustments there should be a desaturate um, yeah down there so you could do it that way too um, okay and uh, as you can see this image is a little bit a uh, little bit light so what I want to do is I want to go up to image adjustments and to the brightness and contrast and I'm gonna go ahead and take that down a lot actually what I'll do instead of doing that is I'll go ahead and uh, make an adjustment layer uh, so that I can manipulate it later. And What I'll do is I'll go down here and I'll create my adjustment layer and it's going to be the same thing. Um, brightness and contrast adjustment layer and I'm going to take my brightness all the way down. Uh, the reason I make the adjustment layer is so that I have the option later to uh, manipulate it as a layer. Okay, um, so, so now that we have that and uh, this is what it looks like so far. Okay. Uh, the next thing that we want to do with our desaturate layer uh, selected is go ahead and make a copy of that. So you could either, uh, uh, what we'll do is we'll, we'll just drag that desaturate layer down into our new layers uh, action button down here. And that'll uh, create a desaturate copy. I believe if you press control, uh, control um, <coughs> J, maybe that makes a copy. Yeah, that would yeah. Control J would make a copy of that layer. So, okay. Uh, now we have desaturate copy. We're gonna call that um, motion blur. Once again, because that's what we're gonna do to it. So, with our motion blur layer selected, we'll go up to filter, down to blur, and down to motion blur. Um, the more you blur, kind of the more the effect you're gonna get. You want it uh, really, really blurred. Um, I have it set to 700 right now. I think I'm going to go a little bit less than that. Maybe. Um, you want to still be able to make out basic shapes. As you can see, you can see a head and a face here. So I think I'm going to go around 300. It's going to change per uh, what image you use. But I'm going to go ahead with this. I'll press OK. And that's what I have right now. Um, after that, we'll go ahead and uh, make a layer mask on our motion blur layer. So I'll click this button down here, which makes a layer mask. And with a layer mask uh, selected, I want to select either the eraser or my brush tool. If you're using your brush, you want to use uh, black to erase out some of the face, or, or actually it would be drawing some of the, the face back to its original capacity. If you use the eraser, it'll just do that automatically, and uh, you want a really soft brush. I'm going to use a hardness of zero and a brush size of 862 and I'm going to go ahead and just oh and I have my opacity set to 10 now uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of click around the face maybe the hand a little bit maybe even a little bit of the hair to just bring back some of the detail in the face and that's probably all the more I want to do maybe a little more on one side about like that something like that should be good okay um, and then after that I want to uh, merge all of these layers into a new layer. So what I'll do on my PC here is 
I'm going to press uh, Shift Command uh, or Control Shift Alt and E, and then I'll uh, take all my layers, like I said, and turn it into one layer. And I'm going to go ahead and call that merged, because that's what we already did. And there that is. Okay. So we have that, and uh, to this layer, I want to go up to uh, my filter, down to distort, and I want to do a diffuse and glow on that. And I want my settings, I already have them uh, set here, to uh, 3, 10, and 10, and I'll press OK. And uh, that's, what, that's what, that, uh, what that did there, I'll just show you. That's what that layer does. Um, if it's not, uh, if if you feel like it's the effect isn't strong enough, go ahead and just go to filter, and do it again. And that's interesting, but I think that's a little too much. So I'm going to go back to what I had. And uh, here we go. If I take off that uh, that adjustment layer, that's why we make the adjustment layer. Because if you decide you want it without the adjustment layer, or if you want less of an adjustment layer. Uh, you can change that. So I'm going to actually just go ahead and deselect that for now and I'll bring it back later. Okay, so now I have that uh, merged layer that we did our diffuse and glow to. Um, and uh, the next thing that I want to do is add an adjustment layer. So I'm going to click on my adjustment layer button down here. And I'm going to add a solid color. And this is just to bring a little color back in there. So you can uh, you can choose whatever color you want. I'm going to choose green. Green's a color that I like a lot, so I'm going to do that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click OK once I have the color picked out that I want. I'm going to change my opacity down to about 10 or 11. And uh, you could leave it like that, or uh, you can kind of play with these opacity settings. Uh, if you click color, you get kind of an interesting uh, um, sepia or some sort of effect like that on your, your image. OK, not sure what I did there, but uh, anyway. Here's where we are, um, and uh, and that's about it. So what I'm going to do now is, since uh, since it is a little bit light in some areas, I'm going to go ahead and uh, click on my brightness and uh, my contrast adjustment layer, and I'm going to brighten it up a little bit. But I think I like it about that dark. And then what I'll do, is since I made that adjustment layer, there's a there's a layer mask built into it. So I'm going to sl uh, select my layer mask. And I'm going to do the same thing that we did with the uh, motion blur layer. So for I'm going to go ahead and bump my opacity up to 100% because I want some areas to be a lot lighter, like the face and the hand, and just some of these other highlights. I just want to show through a little bit more. So I'm just going to go ahead and paint them back in and just kind of do a few little spots around the picture. And that's going to give me a, a whole different sort of look. Another thing that I think I want to do is bump up this color a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and just... These are just final touches, pretty much. Um, that's a little too much, so let's go ahead and do 20. And I think I'm pretty happy with that as a final product. So um, I'll show you where we started. Um, we started with this image. And uh, we ended with this. And uh, as you can see, it's... a uh, it's gotten quite a bit creepier. It's a kind of a ghosted image. Um, if you want to ghost the face a little bit more, you just leave it a little bit more blurred than I did. And, uh, and yeah, and that's about it. So I, uh, I hope you learned something from this tutorial. I hope you, uh, you find it useful. Uh, if you do, please click the like uh, button if you're watching this on YouTube. And if you're uh, watching this on my blog, uh, feel free to go to YouTube and click like. Um, but uh, please check out my blog and please, uh, please follow me on Facebook and Twitter and tell your friends. Alright, uh, thanks for watching.